hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the seventh lab program of cg which is teapot program okay so what is the program is uh, to draw a simple shaded screen uh, shaded scene consisting of a teapot on a table okay remember these things carefully teapot on a table define suitably with the position and the properties of the light source okay we have to define the position and properties of light source along with the properties of the uh, surface of the solid object used in the scene so uh, what is the surface object we are using is the wall okay so this is the wall which we'll be using and we'll be drawing a table here and on the top of table there will be a teapot here okay so three things are there wall is there table is uh, here and the teapot is here and in table itself there is table leg and table top and yeah th those two things are there in table and there is a teapot here and there is wall here why i'm telling this is because these things are initialized uh, separately so we have tried the function for each of these okay <coughs> so if i show you the code this is the code here here we have a header file and here is a function teapot so th totally there are eight functions this is a teapot function tabletop so you can uh, obviously see the similarities here push matrix translate solid and pop push matrix translate scale solid pop push mat push matrix uh, translate scale solid pop push matrix tra uh, translate scale solid pop okay so the first four functions are push matrix and translate scale solid pop pttssp ptssp uh, ptssp yeah so those uh, things are there okay so the first four functions are that let's see the next four functions among them uh, is one of them is the int main function and another one is init function so in the int main is very simple is divided into two parts this is the initialization part glut init glut init display mode glut init window size glut init window position glut init create window and init function we are calling and the next part is just the enable part okay in the enable part we will call the display function for just gl enable enable lighting shade model enable enable normalize and depth test then glut main loop okay so the int main is divided into two parts and init function they have uh, we have six uh, five initialization one two three four five clear co clear color matrix mode load entity ortho and matrix mode and in the uh, remaining part we have the light and the display function right so in the light what we have is first is the ma material and second is the light okay so this divided into two parts material uh, arrays we are defining and then we are using those arrays in the material function material arrays we are defining and using in the material function we are defining the light arrays we are using in the light function we are defining the light arrays and using in the light function so that's what is there in the light um, function and we have the display function and display function also very simple we are just setting the four variables as i told you to keep in mind the teapot tabletop table uh, leg and wall p and here we have the clear and lower entity and blue look at and light so we are just initializing these things okay in display we are initializing the camera position and the other variable things and then we have uh, one teapot is there one tabletop is there four table legs are there two walls are there and rotated by 90 degree okay so actually three walls are there first is the this wall second is this wall third is this wall okay floor is also considered as a wall so three walls are there and they are rotated by 90 degree means uh, separated by 90 degree so we have included 90 degree in between so that's all what is there in the code let's uh, see the code uh, flow which is a code overview okay now to remember these things whatever i told you you have to go uh, remember the code flow so teapot co uh, code flow is as follows program teapot eight functions are there so uh, whatever the pdfs i'm using here this all pdfs are available in the link uh, given in the description box you can go through it then we have uh, eight functions here so the eight functions are table uh, teapot table top table leg and wall just remember this uh, diagram here okay this is the final output which you get it will be as follows there will be a table here okay and here we have a teapot so as you can see there is uh, three walls here so for that wall function is there and their table uh, legs are there so for the table legs and the table top is there so table top and teapot is also there so there is teapot here so these four functions are similar as i told you ptssp which is push matrix translate and scale solid cube and pop matrix i'll uh, give the details of it in the later part of the video but now just uh, keep in mind this uh, code this will be the same for all of these four codes we are just remaining with four more codes and among them the two of them are main and the init so in the main what happens just um, there are two parts okay so in the main there are two parts initialization part and the enable part initialization you already know right init and glut init display mode and um, create window and init position and the init size then we are calling the init function that's what in the initialization part in the enable part there are two enable uh, functions then there is a shade model then there are two enable functions then glut uh, main 
um, let me loop ok. So, that is what is in the enable part and we will be calling the display function here init function here. So, let us discuss what is what is in the init function. Int functions uh, 5 to 6 initializations like clear color matrix mode ortho and again matrix mode in the last and in between also one other um, we are uh, doing the initialization but clear color I guess. So, those are the things which are will be done in init, uh, in init part and second we are calling is the display function. We will come back to the display function later. First, uh, let us discuss the light. In light 4 matrix is there, 4 matrix arrays and 2 matrix functions we are uh, using them in the means the whatever the arrays we define we are we are using them in the function and 2 light array and the 2 light functions are there ok. The arrays we are uh, defining here and using here and here the uh, 4 matrix array uh, 4 ad matrix arrays are defined and is it 2 matrix function or I guess it is 4 matrix function I am not sure. So, it is 4 matrix functions, 4 uh, variables, 4 functions, 2 variables, 2 functions. First one, first part is for the material and second part is for the light, ok. So, done with the light function. Now, let us uh, discuss about the teapot, uh, tabletop, table leg and wall. Here you have push matrix, translate, scale, solid cube and pop and coming to the last one which is the display function. We are initializing variables, we are doing the uh, initialization part and the uh, uh, means GL matrix more clear color and all those things we are doing and 4 variables are initialized. After that what we have is the teapot we have, tabletop we have, 4 table legs and 3 walls. So, that is what we are doing in the display function. So, let us go through the um, uh, means the uh, values what we have to write ok. So, we are starting from here. So, in the teapot as you can see there are 3 arguments passed x, y and z. Remember for the teapot, tabletop, table leg and wall for that you need to specify x, y and z because where you want to place the wall, where you want to place the table legs, where you want to place the table top, where you want to place the teapot and that uh, that thing needs to be specified right. So, for that we are passing the x, y, z values ok. Then we are just calling a, a GL matrix uh, push matrix function without any arguments. Translate we will be passing x, y, z because at that particular space we have to translate and glut solid teapot we are outputting what solid teapot. These are teapot functions so we are outputting solid teapot and that is 0, 0,1 uh, 0 0.1 that is the uh, teapot value ok means how solid it should be. Then pop matrix between push and pop what we are doing translate and solid teapot. Same thing goes here also between push and pop what we are doing translate and solid cube because table top is a cube, table legs are also cube and uh, wall is also cube. This is the difference will happen in the scale function. Here also scale is not there but if you want you can just write scale f 1 1 1 okay, that will not make any difference. Here the values for the table top is 0 0.6, 0 0.0 to 0 0.05, 6025 remember this one 6025 that is for table top. In table leg 0 0302, 0 03, 0 03, 0 03, sorry uh, 02302, okay 02302, okay that is for the table leg. And uh, for this one, it is 1102. 1102 for the wall. So, imagine a situation where you went into a room and it was written here 1102, and there was a table here. And the table in the leg part, it was written 02302. Okay, 02302. And in this part, it was written whatever was in the first part 6025. The table cost 6025 rupees. How much rupees? The table top cost 6025 rupees. Okay, 6025 rupees. And the uh, uh, table legs cost how much? 03, 03, um, sorry, 02, 302. This many rupees. 03, uh, 02, 302. Okay, that is the table leg 02, 302. Then uh, for the wall, what we have is 1102. So, 1102 and um, 6025 rupees and 02302 like that we remember ok. So, these three values uh, I have got next let us move on to the light part here. Light part what we have is a GL matte ambient diffuse specular and shininess. In the module 4 we have discussed right the different properties of light like ambient um, the illumination models ambient diffuse specular and the shininess is the extra one ok. Ambient diffuse and specular then shininess is an extra one. So, uh, ambient color 1111 diffuse color 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 but last will be 1, specular 1, 1, 1, 1, match shininess here we have missed 0 0.5. So, the instead of 0 0.5 we will be writing 50.0, 0, 0 0.5 we will be writing 50.0 ok. So, shininess value is just uh, accepting one argument which is 
then same way we will do for the light as well but before that we are calling some functions gl material fp we are calling gl front and gl ambient gl diffuse gl specular gl shininess and the array uh, values corresponding we are passing so for each of the different we are passing different gl front will be always here ambient diffuse specular shininess and the corresponding arrays are getting passed here in light, uh, light what we have 2631 like this only you can remember 2, uh, 2631 0.7 0.7 and 1 this any any value you can put here okay the position uh, you have to remember 2631 here you can even put 0 0.05 uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 1 okay then we have uh, gl light 0 position and diffuse position and diffuse because that's the earliest we have defined position and intensity is diffuse so position and diffuse and coming to the display function minus 0 0.07 uh, and minus 0 0.15 0 0.2 0 0.5 this are like this only you have to remember minus 2 2 minus 2 2 5 0 0 0 0 1 0 minus 2 2 5 0 0 0 0 1 0 like this only i got i remember now itself right it's very simple minus 2 2 5 0 0 0 0 1 0 okay and here we have 0 table uh, t 0 0 table top 0 and table legs here and the table leg here in between minus uh, 0 0.3 you are writing and uh, here the plus plus minus uh, plus minus minus and plus minus okay so just the uh, signs you are changing here 0 0 minus wall p 0 0 wall p 0 0 wall p and the difference is 91 0 0 90 0 1 0 just one will shift here okay so these are the few things you need to keep in mind so that easily you can write the code just go through the code and write it once and that will be helpful for you in remembering and that's all what is there in this uh, code and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one